Wow. I'm sold. You had me at jazz. Okay, all right. <laughs> Glenn. Glenn Moray. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, the, the story of, of Juke, it's, it starts with the guitar. I bought a, it was a resonator guitar, it was a, like a Delta Blues guitar, and I, and I saw it at my music store. And I don't know, as musicians, sometimes an, an instrument calls to you in a certain way, and, and this was the case with this guitar. And I bought it, and I really didn't know how to play it. So I had, I had to learn how to play bottleneck slide and started learning the, the stories behind the music of people like Elmore James and Robert Johnson and, and Son House. And they were legendary, like outlaw figures who were torn between, you know, being raised in a church and playing devil music. And there was that conflict that sort of started to come up in songs that I started writing. Um, and people who were deeply moved by the spiritual aspects of music, but also conflicted with their the troubles in their lives and, and the, being told that they were playing the devil's music. and there's so many legends around it that um, I quickly came up with a record and recorded it live. And my friend came to the recording and said there was a play inside that record. And I had never thought about it and I molded over. And then the story, the story of my own relationship with my father kept in, crept into the story, the conflict between the son's ambition and the father's idea of what, that, what their career path should be. And it's be replicated in the story of a father and son who are sharecroppers on a southern plantation. And the father's been to the north chasing the dream and gets badly beaten in the riots in 1919 in Chicago. And the son has the same dream and that fear manifests itself into anger against the son and trying to suppress his dream. And so all that came into the story of Juke and this, I want the story to sweat and to groove and have that kind of feel like that you're at an old juke joint, but you're also, you're living one of the greatest stories and that's never, to me, ne has never been told, the great migration of thousands of people coming from the south to the north to chase this this beautiful dream. And and that's where the play is now, and I, I'm dreaming that it'll be on stage one day. Wow. And you had me at resonator guitar. <laughs> you know, I want to just, uh, I just want to go on a separate Zoom with just the three of you and just talk about music for the next two hours. So good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say my co-writer, uh, Todd Phillips, really helped me direct the, uh, the formation and, and he's brilliant in terms of how plays were structured and I would have never been able to finish writing it without him. So. Well, wonderful. You know, I can't wait to read or hear the three of your musicals. They sound amazing. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for coming. And uh, let's now have, we will hear from Adam at the Confederation Center for the Arts in PEI as they announce the recipient. Hello, bonjour, gue. My name is Adam Brazier, and I am the Artistic Director at Confederation Center of the Arts and the Charlottetown Festival. I am standing here in the beautiful Sobe Family Theater in Confederation Center on Epicwit, home of the Mi'kmaq who have lived here since time immemorial. It is our great honor this season to be announcing the winner of the Dan School of Music and Drama Musical Award. The Charlottetown Festival is synonymous. Synonymous? Synonymous? We're very well known for creating original Canadian musical theater. In fact, we made our first premiere in the year 1965 with a little musical called Anne of Green Gables. And since then, the Charlottetown Festival has created and produced over 80 original Canadian musicals, making us by far and away Canada's leading contributor to the musical theater canon. And with that in mind, we announce the nominees for this year's award. Captain Zook, original story created by Landon Braverman and Anna Ustremski, music and lyrics by Landon Braverman, lyrics and book by Anna Ustremski. Aaron Jensen for Armchair Confidential. And the final nominee is Juke by Glenn Murray and Todd Phillips. And the winner is Thank you very much. 
Juke by Glenn Murray and Todd Phillips. Congratulations to you both, and congratulations to all nominees for your continued effort to add to the Canadian musical theatre canon. Well, Eliak, goodbye. Oh boy, wow. Um, I am so, so overcome. I, I'm really happy that, um, that we won this award and so, so grateful. Um, so grateful to the Playwrights Guild for, for supporting um, up and coming artists like myself and Todd and in our dreams in, in um, getting our play to the stage. And this is just such an incredible um, step forward for us. I want to thank um, Karen Simpson and Heather Brimstone for all their work in helping me with editing. And, and I really want to thank Todd because uh, Todd has really taught me so much about writing plays and guided this dream forward of, you know, bringing the story of the great migration to, to the theater, because I, I believe and, and know in my heart that the story has to be told. It, it's a story of, of the struggle of black artists to find a better life in the North. And that, that struggle is still ongoing in the 21st century. And, and music is, is um, you know, the accompaniment to that story. It's the record of that story and the heart blood of, 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 the, of the black experience. So to blend those two things together, that music and that story, it's just uh, been an incredible journey. And um, we look forward to continuing this journey and, and having this dream come to the stage. I'm, I'm really overwhelmed and humbled to have won this award with Todd when we are in the company of such great artists and um, under this amazing guild. So thank you all so much. We're so excited and, and grateful. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna jam soon with your resonated guitar. Maybe we'll write a musical together as well. Wow. Uh, three interesting musicals. I can't wait to, uh, again, to see them, to read them, to hear them. And congrats to Glenn and Todd for Juke. I'm, I'm really excited for y'all. Uh, now let's move things along here.